Hello there and welcome to my guide to beating the guardian ape in Sekiro. It is quite a tricky boss, but he's really cool. I love the way he looks at you, like, what are you doing here? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think he's quite as difficult as Genichiro. The arena is bigger, but you do have to watch out for the walls, getting trapped on the walls. Now my strategy was to keep close to him so you don't miss out on grapples like that but being close obviously that is pretty dangerous if he does grab you oh he's doing a poop attack <laughs> if you see his arm go behind him he's probably going to do a poop attack but if you're close to him you can get underneath him and behind him so he can't get you with his poop <laughs> I love it the animation on him it's just superb it's, it's so energetic and he just rolls around and causing havoc but yeah if you can bait that sort of body lunge out of him then yeah that's a good opportunity to get some hits in as I say don't get too far away or you'll miss out on the grapples there are easy hits so kind of time your dodges I would say that is the main thing with this boss to make sure you time your dodges so when he tries to grab you it's like dodge 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 and once you get used to doing that hopefully he won't get you so yeah, keep around the side of him, if you can, behind him. So bang, bang, bang. So he done that sweep. So he caught me that time. All right, he's doing the dunk thing, get underneath him, get behind him. Some free hits in there. Now, yeah, does that grab, watch out for that grab. If he gets you, you see that red kanji symbol, jump away. Keep an eye out for that. So I'm trying to, Keep close to him, bait that. Oh, the poop attack's coming. <laughs> so easy, easy hits that poop attack. Okay, it's going mad. Here he comes. So dodge, dodge. So I'm hoping, dodge. I'm hoping he's going to jump in the air again and try and body slam me. There we go. And if, yeah, if you just keep out of range, then he'll just roll towards you. Just make sure you're not in front of him when he lands because he will grab you, destroy you. So dodge, dodge. So bang, bang. Hopefully you know he didn't jump that time. Okay, like he does this thing where he goes around on the floor. Again, if you're too far away, you can't get the hits in on him. But you see you've kind of like staggered him. So try and get in as many hits as you can. It can be risky. But... If you can get in a few more hits, then you can stagger him, and then you can do loads of damage. It's, it's, it is risky, but if you do stagger him, then you just get loads of free damage on him. So you see, I'm not too far away from him, but I'm not too close. Here he comes. So I could have got a few hits in there. <laughs> he does that far. <laughs> that will poison you if you get caught with that. But who thinks of this stuff? Who came up with this idea? I mean, he throws his poo at you, he farts on you, <laughs> and the sword in his neck, it's just, it's probably from a battle he's had, isn't it? It's just so cool. And the fur animation, I just love this boss. Okay, he's so going to do the dive, keep to the side, you see, I didn't keep to the side there. He should have dodged earlier to the side, and he's done a load of damage, like, absolutely destroyed me. So that is really what you've got to watch out for. Don't get caught too many times with that because you'll burn through your health. Now, I haven't got any spirit emblems, so I'm not using prosthetics. So you just kind of time, as long as you time the dodge just before he lands, then he should, you know, go to the side, he shouldn't get you. There you go, time it. Oh, nearly got me. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't got any spirit emblems, so I'm not using any prosthetics at all. Uh, I will show you at the end that you can use them. But I ran out of spirit emblems I couldn't be bothered to go farming for coins to buy more I just thought you know what I, I think I can beat him so I just went for it don't forget that second death blow oh that is so gruesome he says come on <laughs> oh dear I think this is where from software always get you you're like you know it's never going to be that easy um, and I thought oh maybe it is maybe that's it and then of course, what? No! <laughs> and 
And this is even more mad. Even more mad. Okay. Yeah, he's got, he's got his head now. He's, if he sticks it back on and gets you with this poison blast. So watch out for that. Now, yeah, he does that unblockable sweep. So when you set Red Kenji symbol, definitely jump. He does this swishing attacks with a sword, so you can now start parrying attacks. And I definitely would advise getting used to parrying those attacks. And I'll show you why in a minute. He's done another sweep. Here he comes. Now you want to dodge? Sorry, not dodge. You want to jump just like before he does that sword sweep. You'll learn the timing on that sword sweep. But it's quite easy to avoid that sword sweep and get some free hits. So I'm getting some parries in here. Oh, unblockable sweep. Now if you get some parries in, sometimes he does a, a big sort of chop on you and you can easily parry that as well. He'll probably do that in a minute. Here he comes, so jump. If you jump too early, he'll get you with the sword. So as long as you wait for the, the sweep and jump at the right time. So I've got two parries there and then he does this move where he does a big chop and it's easy to parry. And then you can get a load of hits in on him. So definitely worth trying to parry those sword attacks. Now you can spam the left bumper if you want, if, you, if you're worried about timing it. But I found that it's easy to get used to those attacks and to actually parry them. Like, like I'm, parry, I'm timing it there. I'm not just spamming it. Oh, here he goes. He jumps in the air. Actually, I'm too far away there. You can actually get a few cheeky hits in there if you if you're brave <laughs> okay get out of there spin his head back on yeah that you got to watch out for that one it's probably oh there you go I like try, so I'm, I'm spamming the left bump there but I've got to deflect so, wah, falls on the floor now you can use the spear prosthetic when he falls on the floor like that I'll show you that later because I did use uh, some prosthetics earlier on uh, in previous runs. <laughs> but I would advise just learning his moves and, and sort of getting comfortable with his attacks before you use all your prosthetic spirit emblems like I did. <laughs> so I just use, I used firecrackers, I used oil to douse him with. I set that alight with the flamethrower. You know, I used the spear and I used up all my spirit emblems without defeating him so yeah I don't think using prosthetics is gonna get you the win solely using them you do have to learn this guy it's not easy he's a tough one some people actually found him harder than Genichiro okay parry parry so you should do that on oh, two parries there you should there he goes yep that's easy to parry that last one some nice attacks in there. Here he comes. Jump. I love the way he's got no head. <laughs> Who thinks of this stuff? Brilliant. <laughs> it's a bit gruesome, isn't it? It is a gruesome. Stick, especially when he put the head, puts the head back on. But, oh god, so he can roar and all the blood comes out. Oh my god. I love the animation on him. It's it's one of the best bosses I think I've played in a From Software game. In terms of the animation and the design, it's so cool. Just watch out when you're trying to keep your distance from him, watch out for the walls. It's easy to get stuck against the walls of the arena. So I was always conscious of that. So this guy, you want to hang back more. Like in the first phase, I was keeping close. With him, though, when, once his head comes off, he definitely rushes you a lot more. And you really want to keep your distance because of that attack. Specifically that one. Here he comes. So that's, a, that's some easy hits there for that. Oh, caught me there. Now when he goes nuts swishing like that, sometimes it's best to get out of there. Because he can... He starts chopping you like mad and he can break the posture. Okay, here he comes. It's a shame I didn't have any spirit emblems because otherwise I, I could have uh, got him with a spear then. 
Okay, see, so he's, he's pushed us quite high. Now, if I'd used the spear on him, then he's, that probably would have broken his posture completely and finished him off. Again, I'll show you that in a bit. Whoa! I fought him a lot, this guy. You know, and I was just like, am I ever going to beat him? I've got no spirit emblems, I don't want to farm them. I, but I thought, you know what? I came close a few times, I thought, I think I could do this. As long as you don't get greedy at the end, like I <laughs> tend to do. Here he comes. See, I'm, I'm back in the way because I haven't got much health. But you can... Oh yeah, I'm using the rice here. Well... I yeah, used my rice at the end, that really saved me. Gave me some health. Well, yeah, keep away from the side. I'm going sort of moving back out into the middle here. Trying to get a parry. There we go, this should be it. Here he comes. Come on, this should be it. Don't get too ready. Yeah, oh. Oh, I should have got out of there sooner, shouldn't I? Oof. Yeah, watch out for that attack. Here he comes. And he tends to do that dive after he does that unblockable sweep. There you go. Got him! And that's like a centipede thing that's controlling him. Oof. Look at it. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, so... He's a tricky boss. I think not quite as difficult as Genichiro, but definitely up there. Some people have more trouble with this ape than Genichiro. Yeah, I'll just show you that spear quickly. So this is a previous run, but I did have some spirit emblems. So basically I was trying to get this attack, bait this attack out of him. And then you, you you can pull, actually pull the centipede out of his neck. You have to use, use the spear to pull it out. And then you can get some chops on him. But you see the posture, his posture goes right, right up when you do that. So it's probably good to do it at the end of the fight. And you can also use firecrackers, but watch out, he will fall on you. Try and fall on you after using a firecracker, so watch out for that. I used a lot of firecrackers before I realised that. <laughs> so he's done that fart thing. Here he goes with the poop. Oh, that's a big bit of poop. <laughs> I mean, I know chimpanzees do do that, but who thinks to do that in a game? I mean, it's, it's so funny. Man. Okay. So yeah, I'll just quickly show you that there is a bit of water in the arena where you can dive down. I looked at this remnant and thought, oh, what's this geezer up to? And yeah, it was just showing me that there is a bit here. And you can dive down and get something. It's always worth having a good look around. You never know what you're going to find. A bit of bait there. That's the only thing down there, I think. But it's worth picking up. There you go, get your idol. And this is the cave that was blocked, so now you can go in there. Obviously, I won't show you what's in there. But probably no, but... <laughs> yeah. I need to reset the dragon rot. I was fighting him so many times that loads of people got sick with dragon rot. So <laughs> I thought I'd better reset it. Because apparently, I think the storylines of the different characters can end if you don't if you let them die or whatever. Oh, okay. Definitely remember to use the memory to upgrade your attack power don't forget to do that and yeah I mean it's a good fight a cool fight and I love look, that lovely arena it's so it's so beautiful the lighting all the modeling work and it's fantastic concept artists working behind this I do have the book with the concept art and it's so nice and most of these arenas that like you can see the concept artists have come up with them there's a few remnants of other people that have done it what is he doing <laughs> but it is a tough fight but you know it's it's so good to actually get it done and you get that it's a great feeling but there he goes he's happy he's going in there <laughs> what's in here I love those trees. It's all knotted and all the roots hanging down. The sun up there. And you can see the snake up there. 
So obviously, probably gonna have to fight him again. <laughs> but look at that statue. Oh, it's so, so beautifully done. I've seen the concept art for that, and it's oh, the way they put it in the game make it look so cool. Not sure if we can get up there. No. <laughs> But yeah, good luck with fighting the boss. And uh, I hope I've helped you, given you a few pointers. And thanks for watching the video. And goodbye for now. <laughs>